Okay, the, the first thing uh, I need to do is to make a copy of this uh, vehicle. So this vehicle is uh, this sedan here. So I will make a duplicate of this uh, car. I duplicate. And I will call it uh, sedan AI. Mm, there you go. So I will modify its uh, blueprint in order to replace all the manual controls by uh, PID controlling its uh, steering force. So here I won't need anything uh, from here. I don't need to use uh, any camera, toggle camera. I don't need it. I don't need that either. Uh, this part, steering input, uh, I will use it. Also, the throttle input, which will be a full speed, I will use it. Uh, I won't use the brake. And this, I'm not sure what this does. I think is is uh, uh, UI stuff, but I don't want to remove it because well, probably. Probably I won't need it, I don't know. Uh, it's not too important. It seems like uh, camera and UI stuff, so uh, I will leave it. So, uh, the only thing is that the steering input is will, will, not, uh, will not be controlled by an input, so I will remove this. And neither the throttle input. The uh, throttle input will be, well, the car will be at full speed, so I will put this at 1. That's it. Uh, so after setting this, um, as, after setting the steering input, I will set the the, the speed at maximum, and then I can update the rest of the stuff. I will remove this stick from here, and I will move it right here. Okay. So I think is all I need. Uh, the first thing I need to do for the controller is to create the, the PID controller and I will need also a variable to hold the reference to my target. So I will create here in the variable a PID controller And uh, the type of this will be a PID controller, there you go, PID controller. And also, I will need a target. And this will be my other car, so this most likely will be an actor. Something, okay. And that will be public because I will, I will need to to reference it from, from outside. So the first thing, uh, I will need the begin, begin event. So the first thing I need to do on the begin event is to, to create my PID controller. For that, I call Construct object from class. The owner of this object will be this actor, so I get a reference to myself. And the class will be, of course, PID controller. Once this is created, I will keep a reference to that in this variable, PID controller, and it's ready to use. Uh, the next thing we have to do is uh, to set the the maximal value and the minimal value for the control variable. Uh, since this uh, this is a steering application, uh, that angle can vary between set angle can vary between minus one hundred and eighty and one hundred and eighty positive. So the PID controller has a function. Here, oh, see, 
put some oh sorry has a function here that uh, is called set process variable max and min so with that you can set the max to 180 which is the maximal angle and the minimal angle to 100, minus 180 so that way you will have already the, the process variable uh, set to the maximal and minimal value next thing if you saw my, my first video on PID controllers is to set the, the control parameters um, so here in AI control you will find um, a method to set the three variables at the same time that is set coefficients so with set coefficients you can after this set the three coefficients and here you will find the proportional, the integral and the derivative coefficient to to set your PID controller. So for now I will put a value of 3 for the proportional and that's all. Your PID controller is all set to start. Probably you will have to come back here to make some, some tuning to make uh, your your car work uh, more more smoothly but that is a good value well your your PID controller is is ready to use now the next thing is to measure the angle between your car and your destination because that is the variable you want to control so to do that, I will uh, make a, a quick example of how to do that here. I will group all that in here in comment. And I will call this part angle measurement. And uh, then I will then first thing you need to know is know your orientation to do that you you get actor rotation and get your forward vector your forward vector uh, okay in this example I will um, uh, I will assume that uh, the car there is no slopes no mountains no the all the the, the car will move will move only in a plane so I will put the the C coordinate for the forward vector in zero so that way I will work only on the X Y plane so to do that I break the vector and then I make the vector again Put in the C, C uh, coordinate in zero. And that's all. Uh, probably you will want to normalize this because it's to angle K, uh, computation is better to use a normalized vector. And that's all. Uh, that's for the for my uh, um, orientation. Now for the destination, you will need your target. Probably here you will want to to check if the target is valid, but I I will skip that part and I will will assume this is 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 valid. So here the same thing you need actor in this case location because you need uh, to know where is it and you need your location and. To, in order to make the vector to do your target, you make the difference between these two. Uh, same thing, probably here you will want to suppress the C coordinate because you will want to you will want to work on the 
on the uh, XY plane. And finally, you will want to normalize this. Okay. To know the angle, you know uh, from um, math that you will use the dot product. The problem here is that we will have an angle that will be always positive. When well, not the not the dot product, but when you make the the um, try to strap the angle, the angle that angle will be always positive. You want to, you want to know if it's positive or negative, meaning if the destination is to the right or to the left. To do that. Since you are working with vectors in the plane uh, x, y, you can do a cross product and verify the c coordinate of that cross product if it's positive or negative. And to know if the vector are are the destination is to your left or to your right. Right. So to do that, then you make this uh, cross product. And get the um, the z coordinate and the sign you need here practically, and that will get the information if your destination is to the left or, or to your right. Uh, right. <laughs> and then the only thing you have to do is probably the multiplication between those two to have the the sign. Ready? This one here is the angle that you are that you currently have and that you want to, to control. So next thing is to use your PID to uh, obtain a steering force. So you get to PID and you call a little function called process PID. There you go, process PID. Here you will find process variable. In reference so your process variable is your angle and the reference is the angle you want to have which is zero so you can leave it you can leave it like that once that output you can use it as a steering force and that's all so you now you have to take the tick event tick the PID and after that uh, set the steering output set the throttle maximum and the rest the same as it was and it's ready your system is ready with the angle measurement I don't know if it's ready to work. and your PID controller ready to to go that's all now um, I have to do a couple of things here first I will need to plug a camera in order to see this car not a camera a scene Let's call this scene capture component. Uh, yeah, scene capture component, which will allow me to render this uh, car to a render target. And that's all. Okay. Now, uh, in the uh, the other thing, you might want to do is to change the color of this car to differentiate the car from the from the original car okay ready now you can instantiate the, this car here and set the target remember which car I will follow will be the sedan blue, which is this one. And ready. Now, okay. The other thing you, I, I may want to do is to to allow this car, this red car, to be seen in the top view camera. So probably I don't want to. There you go. Okay, if we give a try to this um, application, you will see that my red card 
follows the blue card however it's not that accurate because because of the steady state error you see here in the top view tries to follow it but as soon as move as I move it doesn't fi uh, fix the error that quick takes like a little time can improve that behavior by adding some integral increasing the proportional time whoa <laughs> so let's do that uh, open this uh, if I want to improve my behavior probably I can if it's a little bit so we put 4.5 to make it a little bit uh, faster but also a little bit of integral so I can fix my steady state error and now let's see what what that gives so you see it fixes and start to follow with me a little bit more accurate you see whoa, whoa, whoa. Uh, there you go uh, it's going you see it start to fix already my direction it finds me every day every time and fix a little bit quicker and much more accurate my oh there you go <laughs> so it turns out it's a better driver than me <laughs> so there you go that's the way you do a PID controller uh, to control the steering of a vehicle it's a very simple sample simple example um, but uh, you can start from here to do uh, better and more interesting things. Thank you.